Ratio spreads are a risk-defined way to be selling options on ETFs, and they can actually profit whether the stock goes up or down. Ratio spreads are one of the best ways to be selling options on ETFs. You make a small profit if the stock goes up, you can make a huge profit if it goes down a little bit, and then where you lose money is if the stock goes down a lot. They're a trade that's built for environments that have steep skew, which is exactly what you find when you trade ETFs. You collect a credit up front and you make a massive profit if it moves just the right amount to the downside. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to structure these ratio spreads, why they work so well in skewed markets, and the two rules that I use to control my risk. So a ratio spread, which is sometimes called a back spread, is a trade where you buy one at the money option and sell two out of the money options of the same type. So if you're doing a call ratio spread or a put ratio spread, you're gonna be buying a call, selling calls, or buying a put, selling put. And with that being said, you can do this for calls or puts, but in this particular example, especially since we're focusing on ETFs, we are going to talk about the put ratio spread in particular. So here's what it might look like. You maybe go and you buy an at the money put for $5, and then you sell two out of the money puts for $3 each, leaving you with a $1 credit that you've collected. By the way, if you're done following random people on Reddit for advice about what to do for your option selling, click the link in the description below and get access to evidence-backed option selling strategies, where you get all the insights you need to make rational decisions with your money and the tools you need to actually run those strategies. Click the link and see what all the hype's about. It's one of the best decisions that you'll make as an option seller. So once you have this structure on, let's say we did it on SPY. What happens if the S&P drops a little bit? Well, guess what? That is actually the sweet spot where that long put you bought is going to make a bunch of money, but those short puts haven't been hit yet. And therefore they're not going to make any money and they're going to expire worthless. That is where you'll get the maximum payoff. But if SPY starts to drop a lot, well, that's where you can start to get into some hot water because those two puts that you sold start to really pick up in value and far outweigh the one that you bought, right? No trade is completely risk-free and it's important that you understand where do you make money? Where do you lose money? In this case, losing money happens when there's big, big moves to the downside. So your payoff profile looks similar to this. Stock move up, small profit. Stock move down a little bit, big profit. Stock move down a lot, big loss. Now, when it comes to this trading structure, the source of its edge is actually found in the skew. Ratio spreads thrive in a market where out of the money puts are more expensive relative to the at the money ones. And that's almost always the case in indexes. SPY, for example, shows consistently steep skew and there's a number of reasons for that. If you just take a look at a time series of skew, such as the one that you can see in the predicting alpha terminal, you can immediately see that there's always put skew on the S&P 500. Even during quiet markets, those out of the money puts stay expensive. And when implied volatility is higher for the options you sell versus the one you buy, that is when your risk reward ratio tends to get pretty good. You're effectively selling the overpriced insurance and buying the cheaper insurance. Now, when it comes to choosing dates to expirations to trade for these ratio spreads, I typically look in the 30 to 60 day range. There's really three reasons why I do this. The first is that it allows you to collect a meaningful amount of premium. Number two is, it allows you to do that without needing to go on forever. It's not like a trade that lasts an entire year. And number three is that by doing this 30 to 60 day window, it creates a wide enough range of profit to break even that there can be some movement, right? S&P can go down a couple percent and you're not yet worried about being in that lost territory. Now, something to remember is that this is meant to be a very low maintenance strategy. There's no delta hedging. There's no need to adjust the position. It's a systematic strategy that you can just keep rolling into new positions and collect a really great return. And so these longer DTEs give you more time for things to play out without needing to always be paying attention. By the way, if you want to chat with me directly about this strategy, if you signed up for an annual plan with Predicting Alpha, you can book a coaching call one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about any of the strategies of your choosing, and I'll give you my direct feedback on how to improve your performance. All right, now it's time to talk about risk management and how I make sure that I can run these trades safely. This is where most traders screw this up. Ratio spreads look really safe, and a lot of the time you're going to generate a positive return, which is why people tend to oversize these positions. So here's how I basically handle it. The first rule is I really watch how much margin utilization goes into this strategy. I don't wanna be using more than 20 to 30% of margin in this trade because there is a chance that things can go wrong, right? It's not impossible that the S&P 500 drops 4% in a day, that can happen. And in those cases, you are going to be taking a loss. And the second rule is I roll into a new trade and out of the old one when 75% of the time has passed. So if I open a 60 days to expiration ratio spread, and then 45 days pass, I'm gonna close out that trade and roll into one for the next 60 days. 
The last filter I use that helps me control my risk is a VIX filter. If VIX jumps above 40, meaning it's gone to the roof, there's a good chance that we're seeing a market crash, I will just go ahead and close out all of my positions for this strategy. The reason is that even though there's a chance that things could rebound and you know, the variance risk premium tends to still be present even during these really high volatility environments, it's simply not worth the variance to me at that point. With the amount of leverage I'm using, things like that, it doesn't make sense to stay in and try and weather that storm, especially knowing that I can just wait for the storm to be over and then re-enter the trades. So yeah, these are the three rules that keep me in business and allow me to harvest that skew risk premium over time. So yeah, the ratio spread, super cool trade, comes with a really simple systematic strategy that you can go ahead and start executing today. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment in the description of this video. It's a cool strategy. I'd love to see a few of you get started with running it. It really will help you level up your option selling game. And so I'm here to help. Please leave a comment if you need anything. And if not, happy trading, and I'll see you in the next video.